recording. Okay. So we're just going to do a warm up. Um, so we're going to do 50 jumping jacks, but regular jumping jacks, 20 jump lunges, so jump lunges, 10 sprawls, regular <laughs> sprawls, and then 50 Russian twists. You end with these guys. So each rotation, like this is one, two. So 50 jumping jacks, 20 jump lunges, 10 sprawls, 50 Russian twists. And go. All right, you're gonna do some stretching. So get on your back here. One leg, you're gonna go with left leg straight, right leg bent, pull across. Other side. Roll over to your belly and push your chest up. Look over to your right shoulder. Look 
look over your left shoulder. the center, child's pose. Hands left. Right side. Back to the center. Put your hands behind your head and walk your elbows forward. And scoot your butt back. Release, go on all fours. Right arm underneath left arm here. Left hand goes on right hand. Other side. Release, go up on your knees, both hands to your heels, let your head hang back. Back up. Left hand on your hip. Right hand goes overhead. Back up, rotate your neck. Other way. Up and down. Left to right. Ear to shoulder. All right, time. Okay, we're gonna do bridges. I need to go pee because I downed a lot of water before this class. So <laughs> do some bridges, I'll be right back. Bridge.
Grim. Hip escape. All right, we're going to do the bridge, shrimp, scissor, forward roll. Bridge, shrimp, scissor, forward roll. All right, now we're going to do what I have decided to call the hip thrust progression. So that's when you are on your back, you stand up, or not stand up, but sit up, one leg forward, one leg back, brace that back foot, step that front foot across, pivot, and then get too close to the wall, go back here, step across, pivot. Here, step across, pivot. I'm now calling that the hip thrust progression. It's really for an envelope. All right, next we're going to do the sit out progression. Sit out progression here. And then I step across. So here, step my foot out, step that other leg through, turn. Yeah. Sit out progression.
right. Next, we're going to do some drills with a dummy, but like before the actual drills. So just some passing or just get your dummy. We're going to do some drills where they we use their legs. I thought I had something else on there, but I don't have that. So, okay. So the first one we're going to do here, I'm going to do a hip thrust. Hip thrust. I'm going to pass one leg, and I'm holding the leg weird because now it's a handle. To the other hand, I'm going to step that leg through here. And then I'm going to get knee on belly. So from the other side, it looks like this. Here, I'm hip thrusting, passing, and then I'm going to step the same arm leg, or same leg that I'm passing to the arm here for knee on belly. So I'm fast working. I like how your legs stick straight up, Kathy. Your dummy's legs. And next, next we're going to do a similar thing, but we're going to do a reverse. We're going to do a reverse knee on belly. So I'm still going to do the same hip thrust. Hip thrust, switch my hand. But instead of the inside leg coming out, I'm going to use the outside leg, go here. And I'm going to do reverse knee on belly. So same hip thrust, switch hands, but I'm going to step outside. Reverse knee on belly, where I have a knee on belly and I'm facing the legs. All right, next. Next, we're going to do, what are we doing? Wow, my notes say leg on leg, like that made sense. Um, so we're going to, instead of hip thrusting, we're going to, it's not really going to make as much sense on the dummy whose legs are bent this way, but we're going to push the knees outwards and then step in here. Here, and we're still pretending that the opponent's legs are on us. We're gonna push the knees, we're gonna step in 
here so that I slice my leg going one way. It's super weird on the dummy. What does this note mean? Is the outside leg stepping outside first, Shaw? Normally, no. The dummy is just, it's just a weird situation because normally you'd be further away from the dummy, right? Or the person. So it's, this would be like you're pushing your, the knees out here, here. You step in and then you'd step that through. But you're pushing like your knees. So you go basically take your leg to there across track the like the thigh first yeah okay. sort of yeah All right, we're going to save that one for the actual drills. Um, we're gonna do one more, which will probably make more sense with a real person. We're gonna go back to that hip thrust. And instead of um, stepping out, I'm gonna step one leg in. I'm still gonna switch hands. I'm gonna squat down and put the leg on top of my inside leg. I'll show you on the other side. I'm still hip thrusting. I'm still switching my hands, but this time this foot is going to go on the inside. And then I'm going to squat. I'm going to put the leg over my leg, which is what my notes say, but I don't understand what that meant. So here, thrust, switch, step in, squat, put the leg on top of yours. Here, switch, step in. Do that a couple times as I undress my dummy. Just the one. Kathy, Kathy, so here I'm hip thrusting, switching, stepping one foot in to the middle, stepping the middle, and then I'm gonna put the leg that I'm holding over my own leg. So the other leg is just floating over there. Uh, put that leg over your closer thigh. Don't put your knees down. You're going to squat. Don't put knees down. Squat. Yeah, that other leg over your own leg, over your thigh. Here. But here, I'm going to hip thrust, switch, step my foot to the middle, and just squat here. I'm going to basically squish the leg between my body, my torso, and my leg, my thigh.
Okay, time. Get some water. Get some water. Okay, so we're gonna do that knee slice pass that we were doing earlier. So again, it's weird with the dummy whose legs turn this way instead of the other way. So we're going to put one hand on the knee. One hand is gonna come, so I'm gonna start from here. Step one foot forward. My elbow is still gonna stay on my knee. I'm gonna hold the hip here. This hand is pushing down their knee. I'm going to Come in here. I'm gonna put my shin across their their hip or their leg. Not really their hip. Here. I come here. I'm going to. This hand is gonna go underneath the head. I'm going to step out. I'm going to face the dummy this way. Okay. I'd start a little further back, but I'm stuck here. So I have one foot in like the middle. One hand is on the hip and it's connected to my uh, knee. One hand is on their knee and I'm squatting down here. I'm going to let my knee come forward as I this hand comes across and underneath the head here. The hand that was on the hip slides down to the ground and from here I'm going to step back. We're just going to do that and get into side control. So this is the molly variation that she's been doing. Here, I'm squatting. Here, I'm coming down. This hand is going to go to the ground. The one that was on the hip is going to go to the ground. This hand is going to go underneath the head. Specifically, I want to put shoulder pressure down and I'm going to switch my hip. Here. With the side control. Does that make sense? So, lower this to have you see it. There's my bike. Here, squatting low, putting my knee across. This hand's gonna go underneath my head. This hand goes on the ground. Here, I'm in this weird position. I'm going to switch my hip. So it's like more of a back step and not a beach body. Yeah, yeah, it's not really a beach body.
put the pressure on your shoulder, Emmy. Don't like fall. Put the pressure like on, yeah, forward shoulder onto their chin. Yeah, and then get into uh, side control. Switch back into side control. Yeah. So we're gonna do uh, the same thing. Let me explain the beginning part more. So say that I'm coming here and their legs are up and I'm trying to like pass their guard. They're playing guard here. I'm gonna step one foot forward and one hand is gonna basically stick to my knee here. And I'm in this position where I'm, my knee is up, both knees are up. I'm in a, like this squat position, right? I'm trying to, I wanna go this way to slide but sometimes I can't, so I'll put my knee, I'll put my knee, so basically I put my foot in the middle so that my knee could either go this way for that knee slice or this way for the mount. And sometimes I can get this mount because they're defending so hard um, that way or somehow defending. So instead of coming here, I can also open up my knee this way and get into a mount position either here and sometimes my leg, my foot will get stuck, but it doesn't matter because I can cross face here and then turn my hip so that my foot can, can get free. So the start of this is here. I'm gonna slide, I'm gonna step forward, my hand slides down to hip. This hand is on this knee, and I want a knee slice, but I can't, so I'm gonna knee slice the other way here. This foot is back here. And because I'm putting my hand on the knee here, I'm just gonna step that. And I'm gonna come forward. I'm gonna cross face. I'm gonna put the hand that's uh, same side as the knee that has sl sliced under the neck for a cross face. And I'm gonna switch my hip. My hip. It's stuck, and then I'm going to come back and mount. And from here, I want to come up so I don't get stuck or rolled. Yeah. Does that make sense? It's so hard to do when the dummy is not doing what I want it to do.
this is one of those things that like because a dummy doesn't have the same reactions as a human it's so annoying to try to do it Like he said, the same reactions as a human. The dummy has no reactions. <laughs> That's true. Yes, the dummy has no reactions, unlike a human, which has all the reactions. Okay, let's do something with submissions. Okay, time. All right, so we're gonna go back to that knee slice, but this time we're not gonna do a back step thing. Um, not the molly variation. So I'm still gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna come from here, I'm gonna step one foot forward. My elbow is attached to my knee. I'm gonna put my hand on the hip, the hand on the knee. There's a knee slice here. Usually, the person will be coming and trying to stop you from coming through. So I'm going to come and take this collar. And usually this hand is also stopping you. So I'm going to have the collar and I'm going to have the sleeve. And they're turning, but dummy. So from here, I'm going to stand up tall. I'm pressing down on the shoulder. Usually my fist is actually on the mat and I'm pulling up here. So it makes it real hard for them to move. From here, I'm just gonna do the regular knee slice here. And from here, I'm gonna do the um, arm bar. So from here, I'm still holding everything. I'm going to lean forward, or lean, I guess, on my side. And this leg is gonna kick all the way over here, capture that head, and I have an arm bar. So here, I'm going against the legs. I'm going to step one foot forward. My elbow is attached to my knee. Put my hand on the hip, my hand on the, their knee. I'm going to slice this way, and they're going to turn, and I'm just going to slide my hand from the hip all the way up to the collar. This hand is probably going to be protecting, and I'm going to take that sleeve. And here, I'm going to stand, or get tall, I'm going to drop my weight down onto this hand here. So this is usually on the ground or on their shoulder. I'm pulling this one up. I'm going to put my weight on here as I slide through. And then I'm going to lean this way. And then I'm going to put my leg over. And I got that on I'm going to turn the dummy around. I'm going to skip some of the parts of the leg because they can't wall there. So here, this hand that was on the hip is going to slide all the way to the collar. This hand is going to protect, so I'm going to pull that sleeve. I'm usually coming here, but now I'm just going to put all my weight here, and I'm going to pull. They can't turn towards me, and they can't really turn out. So I'm going to slide through, and then I'm going to lean towards their arm that way, and put my leg over. Then I'm going to Get that arm bar here. Yeah? Maybe? On a day when it's not hot, we should have our G's on on tops on and then we can do other submissions from there. But not today, it's too fucking hot. Well, put your, use this instead of pulling here, put the arm here, put your tricep over it, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then hip up. Yeah. 
Do both sides if you haven't been doing both sides. Keep going. All right, time. So we are gonna do a fun leg exercise. So we're gonna do 45 seconds stuff. Uh, so it's gonna go wall sit, hover, wall sit, donkey kicks, wall sit, opposite hand, opposite foot lifting, and then wall sits. Why can't I find my interface? Come on. Okay. So, you know, wall sits. So the hovering is, so just hover your leg off the ground, or your knees off the ground here. The donkey kicks are, 
those. And the opposite hand, opposite foot lift is just literally, you're here hovering, opposite hand, opposite foot. The donkey kick, you're those not for 45 the wall, seconds. are you? You're just kicking your legs up. I am not kicking the wall. Okay, I was like, I can't yeah, tell if you're like resting on the wall for a second. Okay. No, just up. So we're going to do all of those for 45 seconds. Very likely that my timer is going to get fucked up because my coworker is going to text me going, I can't get into my Zoom class. What is the link again? So I will probably around donkey kick or so answer a text. Okay, are you all ready? We're going to start with wall sits. Okay, 45 seconds. Oh, that's why my, my mats have been moving away from me. All right, from here, we're going to go into the hovering. So here, let's go back. All right, back to wall sits. Thanks. All right, move on to donkey kicks. Donkey kicks. Legs. Legs, 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 legs. Keep going. Back to wall sits. Oh, right on time. That's where what the lamp is. <clears throat> That's where I'm paying attention, guys.
Okay. Next, opposite hand, opposite foot, lift. So, opposite hand, opposite foot. I'm paying attention. I just need to send this damn way. All right, back to wall sits, last 45 seconds. All right, time. Hey guys. Thanks, Cha. That was fun. Thanks, Cha. Thanks, okay. Um, I'm still here. Hold on. I just need to send this link. Thanks, um, Cha. Thanks, Cha. You're welcome. So we're going to do welcome. Friday. And if it's cooler, um, we're going to do stuff, more of this passing stuff, but with our gi. We're going to do submissions with our gi on with that pass. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. Only if it's only if it's cooler on Friday. Okay. If it's not, then we're still going to do other passing things because we didn't actually go through all my the things on my list. Well, yeah. Thank you. Sounds good. Okay. Sounds good. Thanks. Thanks. Take care. Bye. 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 Good time.